In the style of Fields of Green for All, just to keep it all normal, we thought we'd give a slot to our, one of our favourite affiliates, because affiliates are everything to us, and we wish our affiliates well during all of this. We're in contact with many of them all the time. They're on all of our feeds and stuff, the family. But it's good to see you, Jordan. Uh, you and I were meant to be down in Bathurst very, very shortly for what was going to be a total humdinger of a gig. Yeah, I was, I was very excited to go out partying for the Afrikaners. I thought it was going to be uh, some good jaws going down down there. Um, but yeah, it's a bit upsetting that that was cancelled. But I mean, you know, it's definitely going to go on. I think everything is just on pause right now. Um, and we can just use this time to you know, prep ourselves even better for the events, I think. Well, that's a great uplifting thing. Well done, man, because there's so much doom and gloom around, matey. I'm glad you see it that way. And uh, everything's kind of rain checked, so yeah, you're absolutely right. Buzz tells me that you've got some sort of competition going on that is like flavor of the week. I don't think you had, did you? I don't think you had this competition two weeks ago, and now you've got a competition in <laughs> style with it. So it was actually Buzz's idea to get you on because I'd forgotten all about your competition. So um, tell us all about that. All right, so, yeah, of course, I mean, with the lockdown coming on, and, I mean, I, I can't stand uh, just being indoors for a weekend, let alone 21 days. And I thought a nice way to pass the time would be to put up a competition for all the growers out there. Um, we're running a lockdown competition that starts tomorrow. Uh, you need to start germinating. You could have started germinating early or... Uh, start germinating, but you need to plant. You need to plant from the 27th, uh, and then you need to keep a track record of your plant on a daily basis, with some sort of reference to ruler or something that we can tell uh, how tall the plant is growing. And at the end of the lockdown, we will choose the winner who will have the tallest plant, uh, and we've got a 2,000 rand gift voucher to Green Smoke Room plus a Green Smoke Room hamper uh, for grabs. Buzz, have you got anything to add to that? Have you, are you going to grow any plants? I may just. Uh, I think it's time to also start planting my veggies, not just my weed again. Uh, but Jordan, yeah, yeah, yeah. something that you're also speaking about, I noticed on Green Smoke Room, um, even though seeds may fall under the essential services category, you were telling me earlier today that you said decided it would actually be more responsible to step back, close your business during the lockdown, still take orders, but allow the courier services and medical essential services to get on with business. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so we originally we sent out some emails to all our customers, and you know we, we got it. We got an account of the courier guy, and we spoke to him. They said they can send agricultural products. Um, we, we've got a nursery license to sell normal uh, seeds and genetics, so we were allowed to still ship our products. Um, but we came out just still we were going to, and then late last night, uh, myself and the management team just had a meeting, and we think with what's going on in South Africa, we should dedicate at least mu as much as our manpower to uh, supporting the hospitals and the people in need. And I, I do really believe, you know, I'm sure everyone out there who needed to get their orders and got their orders in, and guys, if you, you know, it's 21 days. Uh, I'm sure we can all start germinating in 21 days, 30 days time if you didn't get your seeds. Um, I just think it's more responsible right now to let the courier guys concentrate on the crisis at hand. No, it's very admirable of you. And uh, what do you think about, and I, I know this is getting a bit sort of Bruce Whitfield uh, business-ish, but what do you, what's your opinion on businesses? Because I'm in the same boat as you. We're both entrepreneurs. We both sell our own boats financially and that, when we all come out of this in three weeks' time, do you think all the businesses are still going to be left standing, or do you think a lot of businesses are just going to fall by the wayside? So, it's, I, I've been thinking about this long and hard, and, you know, I, I'm the type of guy that plans for a rainy day, um, and I think if you haven't planned for a rainy day, I think this will kind of give you a lesson in business. Uh, but everyone needs to have that fund there that you know, at least can cover you for a month where shit hits the fan, something goes wrong. It might not be a national crisis like this, but there, something can always happen in a company where you might need to close your doors for 30 days, 45 days, 60 days even. Um, 
And uh, yes, businesses that are literally starting up in their first year, they're just just getting going. It's going to be a struggle. Um, but I, I really hope the South African community is there for them when this does pass. And instead of purchasing overseas and importing, we stick to local guys at least for a good year or two to increase the local turnover. But but we we all in the exact same boat. So you know, I think. It starts at the bottom and it works its way up. So I think we all need to understand that the lowest income people uh, are going to be affected, and then even the people with their businesses. But we need to we we all in the same boat. We need to be there for each other. And when this when this stops, I think uh, South Africa needs to come together and support. Uh, you know, we've always said it before, support local. But we really, really have to start supporting local now when this ends, so we can increase the economy again. Um, yeah. And I, I do also think our government has taken some good steps into helping uh, the people that really need help, uh, the small shops, and uh, yeah, let's let's see how it goes. Um, and I saw that Green Smoke Room Seeds is also running a special or a discount code uh, during the lockdown. Yeah, so we, we're running a 20% uh, discount on the entire website. The code is lockdown. <laughs> um, that's. I mean, it's just something small we're doing. We understand that it's tough times out there right now, you know. And you know, anything anyone can do, I think we should be doing. Um, we'll run the promotion for this for as long as the lockdown, if not maybe a few months after the lockdown as well. Okay, so I'm just Great looking. So uh, tell me a little bit more about the competition. How do people enter? Is there a hashtag? Is it a Facebook thing? Is it an Instagram thing? Yes, yeah, so our social media team is still running throughout the whole lockdown, and they're going to be full time on social media, tracking um, all the hashtags. Uh, our Instagram handles on there, our Facebook handles on our adverts we have posted around. Um, if you go, you just have to hashtag post your. Uh, your photo on our Instagram page or our Facebook page. You need to have some sort of reference next to your uh, plant just so you can see how tall it is, and that's as easy as it, as, as it is. Um, we did say on the original post that it can only be green smoke and strains. I've actually opened that up now to any genetics can be grown. Great. That's cool, man. And just personally, what are you going to be doing to stay sane over the next 21 days? Jeez. So, I've set up uh, my computer station. Um, I've gone back into the online gaming. So we'll see how, how long that, uh, how much time that takes up. Um, I am very lucky. Um, I've got a quite a big garden, um, so I'm going to be practicing my golf tripping quite a lot. And I'm also extremely lucky to be living with my girlfriend. So. I've got a beautiful partner to spend the time with. Wow, okay. That's good news. Yeah. I just hope you stay safe. I hope you stay sane. And I hope you stay lit over the next 21 days. And I hope to see you all on the other end. 100% you too. Everyone out there, please stay safe. And everything will be okay then. We all know. We've, we've, the world's been through uh, tough times and we've survived it. Nice one, Jordan. Thank you so much for pulling in. Uh, we're going to put all the links up to you on the bio of this. You, this will be a short as well that will be released during the week, so it'll have GS uh, on it as the thread, and uh, we'll try and get you... It's going to be fun. It's going to be cool. We'll, 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 we'll plant some at the hot box and just join the fun as well. There's one thing, Jordan, I just noticed on the thread, um, Ras Warren said there should be categories <laughs> because Hydro is going to win. <laughs> <laughs> so that's funny enough. We I actually asked quite with I mean I asked quite a few people before putting on this competition if we should have different categories and stuff. And uh, you know we a lot of us were actually arguing on what genetic uh, or what type of way it's grown, uh, which will be the tallest plant. So I think it'll be interesting to see. Like I, personally, I think an auto is going to win uh, being grown indoors. But I've got people who have said to me they think a sun a sun grown feminized plant is going to win. So we've we've opened it up to all categories, plant your seed, uh, and as long as it's a cannabis plant um, and it's we can track it properly, you'll be entered into the competition. Cool man, that's great. I uh, wish you the best of luck, and um, I hope your golf chipping improves. Okay. <laughs> yeah, much needed. <laughs> Cheers, guys. 
I'm just. I'm just looking on the thread here now. Joanne Campbell says businesses selling CBD oil are classified as an essential service and are allowed to stay open according to pure CBD. These businesses can also courier supplies. Does anybody have any insight on that, Joe? Do you know anything about that? I don't know anything about that. Do you know anything, Dan? Do you know, is this in South Africa? I, don't, I haven't heard of that one yet. Uh, no, I haven't heard anything about that. I don't know. If they, if they are going to let that as an essential service, that's pretty awesome. But <laughs> Yeah, you're absolutely right. It is pretty awesome. Well, um, yes, Jordan's always been there all the time, Buzz. You go all the way back to the beginning. He's one of the first guys out of the gate. And he's such a cool guy paying back all the time, isn't he? Yeah, he's definitely one of those guys who walks the talk. You know, we're in a... We're in an environment now, and I hate to bring up CBD like this, but there's a lot of guys that are in this just for the quick flip, the quick buck. Jordan's off the talk for a long time. Long time. one of those brands that I think is not just going to survive the next 21 days, but the next 21 years. Nice, nice. Well...